Let's talk all things netball right now. Joining us from American Netball, Netball America. In fact, it's uh, yep. uh, Sonia Ottaway. I've got to get that correct. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I think it's terrific that the Americans are involved in netball because you can move mountains and you can make the sport into something bigger than it already is. Is that the way you see uh, America in the, in the game? Oh, definitely. You've got one of the biggest powerhouse sporting countries in the world. Yeah. And just think what we'll do to change the face of netball once we get them on board. I, I would have thought, that, you know, you're so engrossed in basketball over yeah. there, I c couldn't believe that you got such a, a good leg in. And I'm wondering how you sell it over and above basketball. Yeah. What, what's the attraction? So the biggest thing is, though, the teachers over there are really looking for something this new. They're schools. tired of teaching the same old sports, the basketball, baseball, etc. So here we are, we've got a great sport. It's a team sport. How many team sports do you have? Yeah. Right, where you actually have to pass the ball to a player. You're not a ball hog, can't be a ball hog. Yeah. And whether it's the boys and girls playing together or against each other, I mean, it's a perfect sport. Hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hang on. Did I, did I just hear an Australian accent? Hang on, you, you, Netball America. <laughs> yeah. It's an Aussie accent. Yes, it is. Where from? Rockhampton. Ah, Rocky. <laughs> Rocky, yes, Rocky girls. So we're taking oh, netball. Of course, Australia and New Zealand are the best too. How are yep, the Americans right take? now? But there's no backboard on the ring over there now. Yeah, there is no backboard, <laughs> and it's very funny. We've got had some funny stories about the the no backboard. Actually, one of my directors received a letter in the mail because she had a netball post at the front of the house, and they complained that there was a broken basketball <laughs> post in her yard and that she was going to get a fine if she didn't remove it. OK, this World Cup that's on right now in, yep. uh, in Sydney, uh, Australia here against Jamaica and Australia obviously into the final against uh, yep. New Zealand a little later on today. W what's this doing for the sport right now, this World Cup? It, you're getting sold-out houses for a start, so that's good. Yeah, and they've d restructured the whole tournament, so we've got the top teams playing earlier in the week. Last Sunday you saw the Silver Ferns beat the Diamonds. Mm -hmm. Close game, so I know the Diamonds are coming back today for uh, to try and take their revenge on the silver ferns but just the exposure that it's getting at this level mm. it had been two years too since the silver ferns had beat uh, the diamonds yes. but uh, October I 2013 I'll tell you what Sonia I think yeah. it, it's great that well, I think we all expected uh, the silver ferns and New Zealand to be, uh, and the diamonds to be in the final yeah. but I reckon the gaps just starting to close Jamaica are good England are good yeah. and there's some other nations that are just yeah. starting to you know show that little bit of aggression uh, progression another another few for three or four years, I'm not saying they'll beat Australia, but it yeah. might be real close. Yeah, and you look at what's happening. Look at Vicky Wilson, for example. You've got Australian, one of Australia's iconic goal shooters, one of the world's best, down, you know, helping coach the Kiwis. You've got other coaches off coaching these other teams. So we're relying on a lot of those well-developed Nepal nations to come into America, whether it's athletes, coaches, umpires, players, and help build that same level in America. Where, where is uh, geographically the strength of uh, Netball America right now? Is it East Coast, West Coast or is it... So we're all over. So we've got 28 states right now right. that we're growing it in. So huge on the West Coast, the East Coast and the Central. So Texas, Georgia in the South, Chicago up in the Midwest. So all the big, the big Central hubs. So this was an exhibition game that you, you played and was before uh, the NBA. Um, Staples Centre. Right? Yeah, that was Staples Centre, 19,000 people. That Which would have been something impressive. amazing for the girls. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. It was really fantastic. I mean, to walk out amongst that crowd. And just the display of it, we actually had, get this, we had somebody go and complain that was with the, um, to the president of that event that we were sexist because our dresses were too short. Too short? Yep, too short. You got to teach. You got a fair way to go then. <laughs> you got a fair way to go. <laughs> but can you see the development happening? Like you're getting all excited about? Oh yes, yeah, in the school and next year. So we got the World Cup here right now for the Opens. Next July, Netball America is hosting in Miami the World University Netball Championships. Well, we've got to go now. Yeah. But you're going to come back and we're going to talk about netball being maybe an Olympic, Olympic sport. sport. We and will. You've got to improve on your Rockhampton accent too, let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more in a little moment. We've got some terrific guests coming away. Uh,